Hello everybody and welcome to American Truck Simulator. My name is Bootsy83191 and today we're doing something a little bit different. Normally, you would find me live on Twitch, on Truckers MP, behind a webcam. That's not going to be the case today. Today, there is no webcam. I am on single player and I'm on YouTube. Huh. Different, isn't it? It's weird. But it's always something I've wanted to do, so I'm pretty excited. I don't know if this is going to be something I do all the time, but uh, your feedback is greatly appreciated. So anything, any sort of constructive criticism at all that you can give me from this video, leave it down in the comment section below. Speaking of the comment section, let's get all of this uh, administrative nonsense out of the way. Don't forget, if you like what you see and you want more of what you see, Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below, either telling me I'm a terrible, terrible gamer, or a wonderful one. Doesn't matter to me. So, what do we have on the agenda for today? So today we have the W900 Highway Killer by John Ruda, the wonderful John Ruda, and we are going to be picking up a job, I believe it's in Provo. And then, of course, today we have a new addition to the Zmod engine family, and it's the Cat 3406E, which is his newest and latest creation. And let me tell you something, you guys are in for a treat because this engine sounds amazing. Um, there are two other mods that I have added as far as Zmods is concerned, aside from the 3406E. I have the road and wind noise sound mod installed, and I also have the W900 interior and, in and effects sound pack. So the interior sounds are going to sound a little different than what you were used to, I'll say maybe a month, a month and a half ago. But they sound fantastic. So, first of all, let me go ahead and show you the job that we are going and picking up so that you guys are all aware. So here we are. It's calcium carbonate powder, and we're going to be picking up in Ogden. I don't know why I said Provo. Provo's the other way. We're going to be picking, picking up in Ogden, and we are going to be heading over to Cheyenne. This is also Great America 1.9 by Voith. If you want any of these mods that you see, they will be down in the description below. So I, if I forget anybody's, any mod author's names or anything like that, I will be adding them to the list and giving them credit. I promise. So, this is also the a polar pneumatic trailer. This is a, a very... I found this trailer today. So, I tested it out. I built one. I don't have the money for one. But I built one, and this trailer looks awesome. Very, very detailed. I'm very excited to go ahead and drive it. And uh, take you all across the beautiful state of Wyoming, which is not out yet. This is strictly a part of Great America Obviously, Wyoming itself will be coming very, very soon. So, here is the game plan. Now that we have the truck, and now that we have the load that we are taking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up. I'm going to start this engine. You guys get to listen to it idle for a little bit. And then I'm going to roll the windows down so you guys can hear it from that perspective. And then I'm going to shut the truck off. And then from there, we're going to go to the outside of the truck. And then I'm going to turn the truck back on, and you guys can listen to it from there. And also, you'll get a chance to listen to the Windows sounds, which are also new. They're electronic windows, so that's also part of the sound pack by Zmods. Without further ado, here we go.
And there you have it. Let me tell you something. It sounds awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and roll the windows up. Actually, you know what? We'll roll windows down up to Ogden. And then uh, we might roll windows up for the highway driving. But two things to get out of the way also before we go ahead and get running. Number one, uh, the suicide knob that you see as well as the little info bar you see at the bottom are part of Truckee, which is uh, an overlay application uh, that uses Overwolf for your game. So if you don't know what Truckee is, Truckee actually allows you to be able to make your own jobs through a dispatcher. But then there's also an overlay that allows you to display a variety of information. So in my case, I have, and you'll see more information as I pick up my trailer, currently the truck that I'm driving, the truck's body damage, the gear that the truck is currently in, should technically be in neutral, there we go, um, and now it's back to sixth, uh, the amount of fuel I have in gallons, the amount of miles I have left, and what my cruise control is set to. On the right-hand side shows how many miles to my destination, how many minutes in real time I have until my job is complete, and what time in real time in my time zone that this job will be completed or that my GPS is, is telling me I'm going to get to my next destination, which is where I'm going to pick up my cargo. So currently, three minutes, I'm three minutes in real time out. And 14.01, it's military time, 2.01 in the afternoon here, will is the exact time that I'm going to be arriving at my destination. Now, of course, this doesn't take into account red lights, traffic violations, you know, accidents, detours, the whole bit. This is just, if you're not stopping, if you're driving the speed limit, that's as long as it's going to take you. So your mileage may vary with that. This will also show you, and you'll see, this will also show you the kind of cargo I'm taking, how much money the job is worth, where I'm picking up, where I'm dropping off, and like I said, you'll see that all when it's there. There's also a secondary display that I can pop up here on the top for when I'm playing multiplayer. It tells you how many friends you have online. And it also gives me the time in real time on the top right hand side. And normally it displays what server I'm in for Truckers MP and stuff like that. So if you're interested, that is Truckee. Again, not really a mod. It's more of a... It's more of an overlay info kind of thing. So that link will be separate down in the description below from the rest of the mod list so that's one thing out of the way second thing out of the way or that i need to get out of the way is down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen you'll see a little logo that is my virtual trucking company on Trucksbook and on tmp itself uh we are a small community known as black magic trucking so if you are Always, as always, if you're interested to, in, ugh, I can't speak. So as anyway, so anyway, if you are interested in joining our little Black Magic community, by all means, click on the link. There will be another link down in the description below, and come ride with us sometime. We're always on uh, Truckers MP, just driving around and causing mischief, as always, of course within reason. So as we do not get band so without further ado for the next three minutes i am going to shut up and we're going to just drive we're going to drive to ogden we're going to go pick up our trailer and we'll go from there let's roll Right. 
Turn right. yards, turn right. Turn right. Well, I was going to be quiet, and then I realized we were stuck in a little bit of a traffic jam. And I have no traffic mods on this either. This is just base game traffic density. But at least it was quick. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right.
straight. Yards, turn right. Turn right. After one hundred yards, turn left. Turn left. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. You have reached your destination. All right. This facility is massive. Also, I don't know why it wanted me to go around the other way. I'm an authorized vehicle. I deserve to be going back there. Come on now. All right. So let's go pick up our trailer. Like I said, I'm excited for this one. And I might have to go ahead and turn that GPS voice off because... It gets pretty annoying after a while. I mean, it sounds nice, don't get me wrong. But when you're in an area where it's going off every 30 seconds and you're just trying to take all the sounds in, it gets annoying. All right. So. If there are any... Um, stutters or anything like that on your end. I know I can see it as it's recording that my uh, screen does look a little choppy, which is funny because here it doesn't look bad at all as I'm playing. It's not stuttering or doing anything like that. And I think it just has to do with I think I might have to mess with my frame rate the next time I do this and whatnot. So... Any tips on helping me go ahead and get it to the point where it's not as choppy, please let me know. So, take a look at this thing. Tell me this trailer isn't awesome. There was a lot of detail. You can see here, hold on, let me, let me pull out a little bit here. Actually, you know what? I think this looks like a great spot for a uh, for a picture, honestly. But look at how detailed that trailer is. It is just the amount of detail that has gone into the pipes going through the bottom there, the pipes along the side, everything. They, it, it's just. It's an amazing looking trailer. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a second here. I'm going to take a screenshot and I will be right back. All right, and we're back. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get these calcium carbonate powder. This calcium carbonate powder. 
off to Cheyenne. So as you can see now on the bottom, all of the trucking information has in fact, excuse me, has in fact shown up. So now it tells you that we're picked up at the Dow Chemicals here in Ogden and we are shipping over to Cheyenne to the Rio Tinto. And you can see that we're hauling calcium carbonate powder, 44,092 pounds of it. And we are getting paid $45,775. Unless I flip this thing, then we might be getting less. And then in the center where it says TB and real miles in green, and that is for trucks book users like myself, it lets us know if we are safe in the real mile zone or if we go ahead and it'll you'll see it disappear as we get closer to race miles. And if we get race miles, it'll start flashing red. We don't do race miles here. We run everything by the books. So let's go ahead, pop these windows up, put the AC on because it is a nice balmy 95 degrees. Well, let's get rolling, shall we? Would help if I took my parking brake off. So, I hope everybody is doing wonderful. I know recently was the 4th of July. I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And uh, hopefully you had some good time with friends, family, significant others, etc. After 100 yards, turn left. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to shut that voice off because we do not need it. So I will be right back. All right, and we're back. That was uh, getting a little annoying as I was trying to talk, so. Nothing against you, GPS. There's just a lot of turns around here. But anyway, like I said, I hope your 4th of July was wonderful. And um, you got to spend it all with good company. So, uh... Another thing is uh, we have wonderful, wonderful tropical storm Elsa making her way up the East Coast. She is not letting it snow. Ooh, a little bumpy there. She is not, in fact, letting it snow. She is just battering the East Coast right now. And trust me, even as a tropical storm, those kind of systems are no joke. So everybody who is further south than me who's getting hit, Please, please, please be careful. And hopefully you are well prepared for the next couple of days at least. I know we are. My fiance and I have stocked up on some things. Getting ready for the upcoming storm. So, which will be hitting tonight. I guess who gets to go into work? Me. But that's okay. That's the uh, nature of my job. But again, please everybody be safe. And for those of you who have gotten hit already, I hope everything uh, wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Hopefully it's not worse. Ooh. I still do not have track IR, so I keep having to use my mouse to look both ways before crossing the street. Um, and as a result, I punch my mouse a lot. So you'll see that. And I apologize. <laughs> All right, so this job is going to take us 20 minutes from this point, 398 miles. Nice little chunk of change for just under 400 miles of driving. But you know how SCS works. This is a short drive, and I'll end up with a detour that puts me back like an extra 10 minutes, so. We know how this works. I do run some other trailer mods. Oh, I'm gonna hit this truck. Remember how I said that we have to make it there in one piece in order for this job? All right, look, I hit you, but you can keep going. It's not like you're dead. <laughs> there we go. It wouldn't be a run with me if I didn't crash into somebody or something, right? Makes a lot of sense. 
It's okay. I just wanted to be friends with that truck and it cost me $900. That's okay. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I, ooh, oh boy. As I choose not to pay attention and start talking again, that's when I almost hit somebody, right? That's normally how it works. But for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Bootsy, as you already know from the beginning of the video. And uh, I'm normally a Twitch streamer. I stream American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 on Twitch, as well as a couple of other fun and exciting little games. Um, but those two are my main focus. And uh, you may have noticed that on here I also do some drumming videos. So if those are also your thing, music is also your thing. You can go ahead and check those out. But uh, I don't really know what inspired me to start doing YouTube. Um, I guess it's just something that I can do in my spare time while I'm working and unable to stream is I can throw a video together and edit it on a slow night or day at work and poof, off it goes onto the internet, into the YouTube somewhere. So I thought it was something neat to try out. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I might still post these regardless of what people think, so... Uh, do they have... Okay, they stop. They do not have the uh, green light there. So, we'll see how this goes. I might make... Uh, I might make some videos on Euro Truck as well. Um, my main focus for the videos here might be ETS 2, or... ATS too. My main focus for these videos might be ATS, but maybe once a week I'll throw in a little ETS2 video or something like that. I have been on a very big ETS2 kick recently, so. Especially with Zmod's new DAF Euro 6 engine mod. Because let me tell you, that thing sounds fantastic if you haven't heard it already highly suggest you go find a video with it or who knows maybe I'll just you know maybe I'll just do a video with one all right we are on the 84 right now and this should be pretty smooth sailing unless our game crashes and it won't be smooth sailing. But it should be pretty smooth sailing here on out from here to Cheyenne. I don't say we have a little train up there running along the mountainside. Only running with engines. That's it. A little substation there. Oop. Don't drive off the road, Bootsy. Let's not do that. Normally a good practice to have both in uh, simulator and in real life. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Speaking of trains, cover your ears, folks. I have a nice little, uh, nice little horn sound for you. No, it's not as loud. Not as loud as I expected it to be. I guess I turned the... Uh, horn volume down so I didn't blow people's ears out in my streams. But my goodness, I love that train horn mod. I think it sounds hysterical. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're gonna keep on keeping on to Cheyenne. Uh, are we? 
I don't know. What's my GPS want me to do? All right, this way it is. Nope. Hey, remember when I told you there was going to be a detour because it's a short run? There's that detour I was talking about. Welcome to ATS. When you play ATS long enough, you start to learn how the game works and how the AI works. Whenever you get a short run like this, you know that it's never, ever, ever, ever going to work the way you want it to, so. Which is fine. It's okay. I'm not upset or anything. I'm not. I promise. Okay, maybe just a little bit. Anybody over there? Hello? Oh, you're gonna get cut off. Sorry there, pal. Ah, it's one of these weird Utah S turn thing. These things are so these are so weird. I don't understand any of this. Can you imagine just sitting in that lane? I don't live in Utah, so I I don't know. Maybe you guys are used to this out there. Let me know. But man, when you are sitting there and you see a truck barreling in and coming towards your lane, I'd be I'd be terrified. Oh, well, sorry, dump truck. I would be absolutely terrified. I will also say that uh, one thing you might notice is you'll see scenery just kind of like start to pop in in the background. Um, I have my draw distance set a little bit lower and I have my anti-aliasing sent set lower as well and that is strictly because okay i i guess i i guess we're going this way i wherever this accident is it's not in a good spot basically we're just going in a giant circle all right so here's what we're going to need to do we're going to need to uh figure this out real quick and make a decision as to which way we need to go because, obviously, that exit is also blocked off, correct? Yes. So we're going to need to figure out which way to go. So let's pause the game here. Pull over on the side of the road. Hazard's on, of course. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here as far as finding a new route. All right. So, obviously, we're going to come back down here and make another U-turn, right? Oh, God almighty. Hmm. In order for us to get to where we need to go, we actually need to go all the way up through Logan. All the way up through Pocatello. Down the 191 and back on 80. So... Huh. Going that way. No. Let's reset the navigation there. So we have to go up this way and down that way. Which is going to turn our job into a 36 minute drive. <laughs> well, nothing's ever simple, isn't it? Excuse me, Mr. Cam. Look at this Cascadia. You see. Why can't everybody be on the road like that? That was like dyslexia in its finest, but why can't everyone be like that? On the road. I think we have a thunderstorm rolling through here right now. It's getting pretty dark in my room where I stream. And I think I've heard a couple of rumbles of thunder so far. Ooh, that's a nice long train. Look at that. That's a lot of cars. Well, 
the good news is, is we get to explore a little bit more of uh, the northern half of Utah. And I will say that they did a very, very nice job with Utah, so... It's a shame that this is going to be a little bit of a longer run, but that's all right. We have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Now, if that road's blocked off, I'm telling you right now, we're going around the barriers, and uh, we're making our own route, so... All of you actual sim drivers, beware. Just keep a lookout. All right, I think we're clear to go past this General Mills truck. A little day cab 389. I love that truck, it's super nice. somehow managed to oh, sweet I can bypass I somehow managed to unlock the Kenworth dealership from the highway so go figure that one out oh my goodness nobody looks in their mirrors when they uh, do something like that that was terrifying I wonder. Something tells me I'm going to get behind this Dodge Caravan here. And it's going to slow down. Because in typical SES faction, a vehicle will never go as fast as the speed limit allows it to go. I'll be very shocked. Huh. Would you look at that? It's actually driving the way it's supposed to. All right, so we're going to be taking this exit here, which I believe is 15 north towards Pocatello, if I can read the English language properly. Now, 80 is cutting it a little too close to race miles, which is why I am not jumping up to 80. Probably shouldn't have passed that guy like that, but that's okay. Ooh, a little, little stutter there. Every now and then you'll notice those in my game. I, it's, I don't know what is causing it. I mean, obviously it's a mod. I'm not 100% sure which mod. There are some things I might have to get rid of, though, and I might have to... Uh, tweak around with some of the mods that I currently have installed so that my game doesn't stutter. It doesn't stutter often, but when it does, it is noticeable. Welcome to Idaho. Well, hope you enjoyed your time in Utah. Because we're not there anymore. Looks like a little rest stop up there. Probably should have unlocked the gray, but that's okay. I don't think I've been on this part of the 15 either going north, so... This, this might be all new territory for me anyway. So I don't know how often I'm going to be doing this, uh, posting videos. I don't know if I'm going to do it once a week, twice a week. I might just start off doing this once a week and kind of see the response that I get as a result. And uh, if 
things kind of take off, then I don't know. We'll uh, we'll keep going. Also, if there are any specific mods you would like me to showcase, um, I do already have one in mind that I think I'm going to do for my next video, as long as it uh, tests okay. Um, but I do have an idea for my next video. But going forward, any ideas for trailers, any ideas for any trucks, any maps, you let me know. And I might consider it. And I don't know what these are going to be. I don't know if these are going to be like mod review videos or if they're just going to be, you know, a weekly drive video. Oh, we got to pull in here. So yeah, I don't know if these are just going to be... Uh, hello? Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Uh, I didn't miss it. Okay. I got very confused there for a second. But yeah, I'm not sure if these are going to be, like, mod review videos, just weekly drive videos. You know, we could even start a new profile from scratch and build our trucking empire from the beginning let me know what you want to do let me know what you think would be cool because I don't know what would be cool so any help from the community would be appreciated so for now you get this one which it's kind of like a mod showcase, but it's not. Like, you know, we're showing off the 3406E. We're showing off this Polar Pneumatic trailer. Which still looks awesome, by the way. We're showing off Ruta's W900, but, you know, Ruta's W900's been around for a while now. It wasn't meant to be that way. It's just something interesting that I saw as I was perusing through what mods I should get. And then I stumbled across this one, so. I will also be updating my mods list after this video strictly because not everything that I have is on the list. But I will go ahead and change that soon. Funny, you can actually hear the wind noise. Let's let's hear how it sounds with the windows down. Let's pull the windows down, hear the wind noise. It is very, very subtle. Here, when you put the windows up to like here, you can hear a little bit better. Hear it? You can hear that slight change in the pitch? Of course it's not enough to like blow your ears out because you know how it sounds when you have your windows down? and you're doing like 70 miles an hour, you can hear the as it's like hitting you in the face. It's a very subtle change, but a nice one. Another cool one is uh, when you toggle the engine brake, 
you'll hear the engine brake sound actually toggle. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Listen. Hear it? Isn't that cool? Oh, this is my exit anyway, so there you go. Sounds so sweet. All right, we'll let this Escalade pass. Oh, he's making a left. All right, perfect. Got ourselves a Flying J and a Pilot? Or is that a Loves? That's a Loves. Eh, they're kind of one and the same, aren't they? I remember pilots and flying jays back when I was in a band. Flying jays were great because they have showers. So when we were in between gigs traveling to different states, those showers were a blessing in disguise, let me tell you. Don't think I'd ever go back to uh, touring. I didn't do it for long, but... I don't think I'd ever go back to it. I kind of enjoy where I'm at right now. Listen to that retarder. What? Hello? Oh, I was supposed to make a left there. <laughs> Shows you how much I was paying attention. I didn't realize that road ended. I was just cruising along, not paying attention to the GPS. And I turn my wipers on. Typical. Typical, typical booty. Oh, you got to hear the, the rain and wipers mod, though. You get to hear it when it's not wet. When it's not raining, it makes a little ee -ee -ee squeaky sound, so. Let's see if I can make this right on red without getting a ticket. All right, nice. What? Oh my goodness gracious. I thought I took that turn wide enough. Oh well. Look, I never claimed to be a professional driver. I don't drive in real life. Well, I mean, I do. I drive a car in real life. I don't drive a truck in real life. But I should have button hooked it. Went out a little bit wider. And I didn't. I thought I was good. That's all right. It's a simulation. It's a good thing I don't do this in real life. They'd be like, erratic driver takes out entire city. We don't know how. All he did was drive through it. Seriously, it's okay. Again, it's not real life, so I'm not harming anybody. Horses! What the heck? What is going on? He's hitting invisible barriers all over the place. What did I hit? Use the force, Anakin. What? <laughs> that time the road didn't end. So that time I can't tell you what I hit. Huh. I took no damage from it. 
because clearly the game was like, you know what? You've had enough. <laughs> but I hit an invisible barrier. Interesting. We might be passing into Great America territory, so the borders are probably not completely fixed yet. Which means we're probably going to hit more in our travels. Oh, oh, well, excuse you too, sir and or madam. I hit that wall at 70. I took zero damage. It's a spongy wall. We're not going to miss this turn. Look at these woods. Very farming simulator-esque. Ooh, this is a tight turn. It's nice and tight. Tight like a tiger. Uh-oh. Popo got somebody. What's the risk for fires today? Uh, moderate. Okay, well. I'm just going to light up my cigar here. Mm -hmm. And we'll just... Oh, oh my lighter! Glad we got out of that one, okay? It also wouldn't be driving with yours truly if, uh, you know, we weren't driving at nighttime. Because that always tends to be the case. Oh, we want to see what your truck looks like, Booty. I bet you look so cool. Oh, it's 2 a.m. That's a cool little lake. I'm going nice and slow here. I know the speed limit says 70, but there is no way on God's green earth am I doing 70. Oh my, God, look at these turns. This looks more better past 22 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you may as well. Did I just get passed by a Dodge Intrepid? I think I did. That's how you know you've hit a new low, a new low, a new low in your trucking career when you get passed by a Dodge Intrepid. We have made it to Jackson's. We are officially in Wyoming. Welcome, everybody, to the uh, Boat Wave Memorial. I remember when the giant tidal wave of 82 took out a whole bunch of canoes out here in Jackson, Wyoming. May they rest in peace. GPS says 45 here. This seems like it makes a little bit more sense. Not 70. You hear that little, little, I love the little seat squeaks. It's great. I love it. Roundabouts. Roundabouts. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome to ETS 2. It's a cool box. Hey man, you're pretty cool. Hey.
So, just as an FYI, the Wyoming that we are using currently is not the same Wyoming that SCS is releasing. This Wyoming here was built by Voith, the man who did Great America. So this is Great America 1.9 that we are currently in. Let me turn my high beams on so I don't go careening off a cliff. Um, and as a result, whoa, look at this fog. Look at that, so cool. I'm sorry, I like almost lost my train of thought because of this fog. This is awesome. Look at this weather. Wow, that was cool. Anyway, um, yeah, so SCS's Wyoming will be coming out soon. Hopefully, very, very soon. Oh, sorry, don't yell at me for leaving my high beams on. Um, so this is Wyoming as a part of Great America 1.9 by Voith. You can download this mod for free, but you can also support his Patreon and you can get the updates a little bit sooner than everybody else. I think his map is pretty good, all things considered. Um, we're not going to talk about the giant rubber wall that I hit in the back there, but other than that, he has done a fantastic job on this map. I'm thinking at some point we're going to keep traveling a little further east so we can hit Iowa. I'd love to do a couple of jobs over to Des Moines. Considering I will be going there this year for the first time ever. Visiting future family the in-laws. Very excited for that. But all in all, even though it is a flat-ish landscape out there, I am very excited to go visit. It is uh, something different. I've never experienced anything in the Midwest aside from Wisconsin, and I was in Milwaukee the whole time, so it was more of a city atmosphere. So being able to experience a smaller town portion of Iowa, I'm flying into Des Moines, I'm not staying in Des Moines, but uh, getting that smaller Midwestern town vibe, I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to be pretty fun, so looking forward to it. I was wondering why this car in front of me was braking. And then I saw the speed limit sign, so makes sense. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, um, I will also go ahead and put my specs down below for my computer and uh, what toys I'm using. To drive this bad boy uh, but I am using the Logitech G920 steering wheel the this is the Xbox version not the PlayStation version which I believe is the G29 um, I also am using a shifter not well as you can see I am clearly driving an automatic which is probably gonna break a lot of your hearts but um, I'm learning Slowly but surely, I'm learning. Um, I practice way more offline when I'm not streaming or not doing this, I guess. And um, slowly getting better. I'm not good at it yet. Not good enough to show off my, my skills. But I will be there eventually, I promise. But yes, I do use a Logitech G920. I do use the shifter. And everything else is uh, just mouse and keyboard. And of course, I have the pedals that go with the shifter as well. Or I'm sorry, with the wheel as well. So. 
I'm not like using one hand on the keyboard to control my speed and then the wheel. I do have the paddles. But yeah, if anybody is new here, uh, welcome, first of all. And second of all, like I said before, I do stream on Twitch. My schedule's a little sporadic. I do try to keep everybody both on Twitch and in my Discord up to date as to when I will be streaming because I work shift work. I work a 12-hour rotating shift, so I'm not off on the same day every week. So as a result, I tend to um, change my streaming schedule on a weekly basis. And sometimes things are subject to change. For example, like uh, tonight, I was supposed to stream, and I'm also supposed to stream tomorrow, but due to Tropical Storm Elsa, I got called in to work tonight. So, and this is Thursday at the time I'm recording this. So, I got forced to work tonight on the night shift. So, my stream tonight got canceled. And depending on if I have electricity tomorrow, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow either. So, I figure this was also a good way to kind of fill the gap between when I'm streaming and a good way for everybody to know that I'm still alive, that I'm still here, so. Plus, who knows? Like I said, I might really enjoy doing this YouTube thing, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you ever want to come through and hang out on Twitch, I will put a link down below, but twitch.tv forward slash booty 83191. And uh, normally I do a lot of truckers MP. So you can always catch me driving around on the multiplayer servers. And of course, anybody is always welcome to join. We get into some pretty crazy stuff. Um, my stream is also not for the faint of heart. We are a very rowdy bunch of individuals. We can be pretty chill at times, but we can also be pretty nuts. So, but we have an awesome community, an awesome group of people that I am proud to call friends that I drive with. And if you ever want to uh, swing on by, of course, you are always more than welcome to. Drop in, say hi, say you found me on YouTube, your videos suck. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then proceed to watch me crash into inanimate objects on uh, multiplayer as well. So. Nothing changes from single player to multiplayer. The only difference is, is I'm playing by myself here and then I'm playing with friends on multiplayer so but our little community is always expanding and we're always very welcoming and open to new people all right this intrepid passed me about 10 to 15 minutes ago and now driving just a little too slow. I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit more. Something tells me this speed limit's going to slow down even more up ahead. What a tie. Rock Springs, Wyoming. Ooh, there's a little stutter. Now, this is a modded city, so could also be the reasoning for the stutter. Ooh, I gotta get in the left lane. Ooh, Taco Kingdom. I like the little crown that's on top of it. It's beautiful. Walmart. What's that? It's a bunch of neon 
I don't even know what what is that? It's a sale on neon postcards and I don't know, was that liquor or was that soda? I don't know what that was. Huh. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna get in the left lane here. Strictly because I don't know when I would get another chance to do so, so. Mm hmm. Okay. You're a car? There was no reason for you to stop. There's no stop sign. I don't see a stop sign. Do you? No? No? I see one there. That's it. Why'd you stop? You know, the AI sometimes just makes me want to scream. But I won't. I won't. So far, so good on this map as well. Um, I was playing Coast to Coast not too long ago, and um, I had to disable the mod because you would end up in, like, these black pits of despair where your truck would just fall through the map or your truck would just disappear into a dark abyss. And uh, I, I think it might be a conflict with a couple of other map mods as to why it's doing that, but... I'm not a huge fan of Coast to Coast altogether. I think it's a very ambitious project, and I think it's a good project. And I don't want this to be like a bash fest on Coast to Coast, but there is uh, really not a lot of detail in between cities. You know, you just it's flat land, and it, and then boom, you're in a city, and then you're off to the next city, and it's just flat land. Occasionally, you'll get some woods, some forests, some lakes. But then boom, it's city, and then it's flat land again, and then it's city, so. That's why I like this map. I think it's a little bit smaller, but there's more detail, there's more things added into the map. It's not just an expanse of flat land, he says as he drives through an expanse of flat land. But that's also just this area. You'll, you'll notice. You'll you'll start. You'll begin to see more and more detail as we get through certain areas. There's another little stutter. coming up on the 10 minute mark of this drive not too much time left we are on interstate 80 and of course i-80 is going to be added in the new wyoming dlc and i'm really hoping that they continue wyoming going into the states further east so uh i am from new jersey so I'm really hoping that eventually when they get to the East Coast, if they ever get that far, that they bring I-80 all the way into northern New Jersey. Because that would be pretty sweet. It would be a pretty fun drive to do. To do a uh, run all the way from I-80 in New Jersey all the way to I-80 out in, what is it, Sacramento, I think is where it ends. Or am I thinking 90? I always forget. I think it's 80. You can yell at me if I'm wrong. It's okay.
Uh oh. I'm doing 70. And everybody's slowing down. Ah, road work ahead, that's why. You don't get brake lights, though. It's just everybody slows down out of nowhere. And I know, I know. Speed limit through here is going to be 55. Because we got something going on over here. What the heck's going on? Construction? That's what it sounds like. They're cutting something back there. I see a city. Hmm. Disney? No, it's not Disney. Kind of upset. That's okay. Fun fact, you know, I haven't been to Disney World since I was a kid. And when I mean like a kid, everyone's like, oh, okay, well, you're older now, makes sense. No, 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 no. The one and only time I had ever been to Disney World, I think I was eight. Haven't been to Disney World since. And we went during a time when it was insanely cold. Like, we were wearing long sleeves and jackets, and they were handing out hot chocolate at MGM Studios. I remember that specifically, because that hot chocolate was slamming. But, yeah, that was my experience. And our, our flight got delayed because we had a blizzard up here in New Jersey. And we had, like, two and a half feet of snow or something like that. So our flight got delayed by like two days. So we had to spend two extra days. We And we didn't even stay at the hotel that we were originally planning to stay at. We had to travel somewhere else. It was a mess. I mean, we got an extra two days at Disney, but... We didn't get the, uh, the nice warm Florida weather experience. Excuse me, coming through, if you don't mind. Just gonna squeeze right by you there. Oh, sorry. Can't tell if that's a vehicle stopped on the side of the road or if that's just somebody driving slow in the right lane. I think it's just somebody driving slow in the right lane, okay. Can I move over, or is somebody in my blind spot? Oh, we're gonna find out. Here, we'll go ahead and roll the windows down for the last couple minutes of this run. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up until we get to our destination at the Rio Tinto in Cheyenne.
What in Sam Hill's name is going on here? I was going to be quiet, but what the hell was that? <sighs> I love the AI. I love the AI. I love the AI. All right. Back to driving. Whoops, we got a trailer to deliver. I didn't realize how much time we were running out of. Holy smokes. We are cutting it close. We are cutting it very, very close. We might actually end up being late on this run. I see your license and registration, please. Have you been drinking? Ooh wee! All right, we're just rolling. We're rolling. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go, just go. Go, 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 go. We're in a rush. It's 4.38. I gotta get there by 5.54. Woo! This is gonna be close, this is gonna be close. Oh, let's keep an eye on that time. Think I got it? I don't know, it's gonna be close. miss our turn that would be detrimental all right Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we are a little you want to talk about right on the cusp right on the cusp yep 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 that's fine we didn't take any damage we're good Uh-huh. Okay. All right. This one. Oh, thank goodness. This parking job isn't going to be that difficult. got time. We're going to make it, baby. 
Nah, we're gonna straighten out here. We're gonna make this a little bit. Nah, you know what? If the game's giving it to us, we're gonna take it. We just made it by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Forty-five thousand seven hundred and seventy-five doll hairs and one thousand five hundred and sixty-six XP. A total of fourteen hours and fourteen minutes taken to get there and 758 miles driven thanks to that detour we almost didn't make it holy moly that was uh that was a doozy all right let's go ahead we're gonna go park this bad boy right over here between the uh what is that, a Nissan Titan? And, uh, you know, whatever the Chevy Express van is doing over here. Might not even be a Titan. I forget what the other one is. Frontier? I forget what the other little baby Nissan is. All right, so we did it. We barely made it. By the hair of our chinny chin chin, we made it. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for me. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should I continue doing this? I had a lot of fun doing this. So I might still do it anyway, but please give me your feedback. Let me know what you all think. It has been an absolute pleasure rolling with you guys today. And again, remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Much love to all of you, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out.